to just recap tonight's conversation. We are in a series that's called Becoming. And tonight's conversation was about the woman at the well. The title was The Thirst is Real. And we talked about some of the uh, intricate parts of this experience and how it relates to where we are on today. The wonderful things that we talked about and some of the beautiful conversations that came out of it. I um, just want to do some highlights and bring you into our experience. And for those who were fortunate enough to be here, uh, this is a, will serve as a recap and a challenge for you during this next few weeks until we meet again for July's Roses and Thorns session. And so our conversation took place in John, the fourth chapter, where we are very aware of comparison and how the uh, Pharisees and, and individuals were out there comparing uh, and counting up numbers that John the Baptist had baptized this many and Jesus had baptized that many and they were comparing them and how so often today we're faced with this comparison experience and how we're trying to live up to the measurement by someone else. In fact, there's this quote that I shared on tonight from Calvin Cooley, and it says, I'm not what I think I am. I'm not what you think I am. I'm what I think you think I am. It's about perception. What do you think that someone's thinking about you? And then you start measuring yourself to this false belief of what you believe and what you think someone else is thinking of you instead of thinking about what God thinks of you. And so my challenge uh, for us on to this evening is that whenever you get that thought in your mind about the they, you know, the infamous they, the nameless they, that you turn that immediately into, God, what do you say about me? And understanding that he has made you, he's uniquely gifted you, and that's what he seeks from you, that full transparency. Just come as you are, who you are so that he can create that path for you. We also talked about tonight that there was a combination of two things, that she had a reason for being at the well. She was going to draw water, but there was also a purpose for her to be there. And that's to find that water that will sustain her for life, that water that will release her from her thirst. And so in your own life, consider your reason and your purpose. And when the two collide, that's when you know you're on the pathway for God. And so you can have a whole list of reasons for doing something, but do those reasons, do they line up to the purpose that God has for you? When we began to talk through this journey uh, that this woman took, we were so thrilled to find out her name and her name is Fontina. And so, we were also talking through her experience and how she chose to come at a time when she knew there wouldn't be a lot of people out because she didn't want the buzz, you know, or she had a reputation. And a lot of times we get guarded by that and we get shifted into how we live our lives and the choices that we make and the things that we do based on what we think someone else may be thinking about us. Remember that quote, I'm not what I think I am. I'm not what you think I am. I'm what I think you think I am. And so we get caught up in what people are saying because that's reputation. Instead of focusing on character and who God has created you to be. So again, as those thoughts start to surface, replace them with who God says you are. And, and so in the end, she took off. She was so excited that she had met Christ. And, and it says that she took off to go into the city to be an ambassador for Jesus Christ, the first woman ambassador, the first ambassador at all to go and to speak about Jesus and to share his love and to invite people into the knowledge of Jesus Christ. And she left her, her pots there. She left her bucket. She left her tool that she was using to draw water. She left it all behind her. And that's just it. When we come to Christ, we're willing to leave everything that we once depended on that get us to a certain place to be our resource, that we leave those things behind and we reach forward uh, unto Christ. Christ. Uh, those things. And so happen. consider what is it that you need to leave at his feet? What are the things that you're going to leave behind in order to go out to build the kingdom? 
So that's just a few of the highlights that happened on tonight. I'm not even going into all the amazing testimonies that were shared on tonight, but I do want to share a couple of the nuggets that uh, were presented as we go around and we do our roses and thorns. We'll have um, individuals who are sharing their rose or the thorn that they experienced. And so on tonight, someone made the statement that, you know, thorns only hurt when you touch them. And so a lot of times there's a thorn in our life and we're just sitting there playing with it, you know, just tip tap it and to make sure it's still sharp. And so we can oftentimes avoid the thorn that's rising um, just by simply choosing the direction and going in the pathway that does not lead to the thorns. Another golden gem from tonight uh, was that we are seeking new revelation when we need old obedience. Yeah, obedience has been around. It is nothing new. And so if we just follow through with obedience, we don't need to keep continuing seeking and asking God for new revelations. Just do what he told already told you to do, right? And here we are, we get trapped into that. We're asking God, reveal yourself and show me. And he's like, just do what I said, do, right? And so I'm so thrilled and looking forward to connecting with you in July, third uh, Friday in July, Intimate Conversations. We're going to be switching a series. And so I'm excited to introduce the new series to you. And we'll be moving towards our three-year anniversary, which will take place in September. It'll be the third Sunday in September. We're moving the dates and we will host it at the Lincoln Experience Center. I'm so excited about it. So again, mark your calendar, September the 15th, Roses and Thorns, three year anniversary. I look forward to connecting with you soon. In the meantime, visit our Facebook page as well as uh, visit our page within the website. If you go to JanelleBarkstill.com, there is a Roses and Thorns page and there, there you'll find updates and photos as well as content from this month's conversation. I'll see you next month.